Hey guys, thanks for joining us on the old show today. What we've got here is a 1953 Nash Ambassador Custom. I got this car probably 10 years ago. I haven't really done anything with it. We'll have a quick look at the reason why. But, uh, you know, it's actually one of my favorite uh, of the uh, outside cars here. If I had one of all this lot full of cars here that I could put back on the road, it would be this, just because they're so weird. I love the styling. They don't really have much value, so there's not a lot of percentage in trying to restore it. But, I don't know, part of me thinks that it should get the uh, will it run treatment and be kind of put back into a semi-presentable condition. I'm going to show you guys around the car for just a second here and we'll have a look. Well, at first it doesn't look too bad until you see a few key things happening here. Um, we can see down the back there, pretty complete looks fairly straight and presentable one broken window there but probably work around that uh, then we get up to here and we see some very questionable old collision repair in fact this fender has been spliced on right there which you know normally I'm a big fan of splicing stuff together but I usually try to get the pieces to fit first so you can see that the gap goes from a quarter inch there to minus a sixteenth of an inch here all the way out to about five eighths of an inch here so this whole corner of the car obviously been hit pretty hard at some point and then very very quickly and amateurly patched back together i honestly think that was probably done at what they would have passed for a professional shop back in the day there just wasn't a whole lot of uh time for you know perfect or even good I guess back then that kind of kills the car frankly if you look at it a little closer we see from the frontal impact the gap here is tightened up and in fact very likely what's happened is the cowl has moved back a tiny bit on this side and now the door sags because the top hinge is too far back along with the cowl so you can see that is lower than here this is tight tight enough to be chipping there and uh door doesn't maybe it'll open but i'm not going to try it so anyway overall pretty poor and this is the good side of the car down this side if this was the only damage on the car it wouldn't be too big of a deal but you combine it with the rust and the old collision repair on that side uh hinge pretty badly bent here and both doors on this side pretty substantially wiped out so I don't know um the engine is also seized in case there wasn't enough other stuff wrong with it but we ended up with that nash parts car the other day and so we've salvaged a few bits of trim here because they are missing i think everything on this side's missing yeah so we managed to find probably 75 percent of what we were after and we've got uh most of the interior is complete actually i used to think this car was pretty poor until I looked at the other one that we ended up with for a while, so I don't think it's restorable, but I think it might be fun to try and tidy it up a bit. So something that I'd like to do over the uh, next few months or possibly years here would be to uh, get this car out of this hole, back on some better tires, and possibly even running and change the uh, two doors on this side and see if we can make something a little more presentable out of it. I really do like these cars. Anyway, with that in mind, I present the following video of uh, starting some work on the doors for this car. Right? Oh, you look here. very pretty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. We've got the post off of the Nash door which makes it a little easier to work with. We're gonna save the post in case we need it for any kind of collision repair. But as you can see, about 40% of this door has left the building. And so, you know, let's not get too, like, uh, carried away with what we think we're trying to achieve here today. We could fix all this. That would be just like the biggest waste of effort in the history of man. So we're gonna vacuum it out change the put the good glass in it imagine you stopped working on the impala just to do this one <laughs> i kind of did yeah oh well i think i want to sandblast some impala parts and i can't really do that in here and i can't do it in the dark mm -hmm. 
So, oh, this is gonna be fine. Coming right back to life. Put the glass in it, pop the big dent out of it, wash it off, possibly rattle can it to match the car. But, I mean, that's getting a little insane, but it could happen. And other than that, just some light uh, de-spidering and uh, a whole lot of oil on the latches. It would be nice if it all worked. What do you think? We should get it working at least. Oh, that's not looking good. It's gonna... That's a sad looking situation there. Mm -hmm. Spider Village. Oh yeah, Spider Manhattan. All right, I don't know. None of this is gonna just come right back to life or nothing. Okay, I'm gonna vacuum it off. Then we're gonna, it's all gonna just come right back to life. disgusting now. That's some rough old garbage. <laughs> well, let's give all the latches a wiggle before we put anything back together. I suppose I went a bit crazy with that. No, I just forgot that we were going to need it again right away. We don't have to put it right back together. Oh, okay. Wow, that is not moving at all. Oh. Oh, this side moves. That has no effect on things at all. What about over here? That's already jammed, I suspect. Oh, it's all garbage. Gotta get a punch and a cheap screwdriver and a hammer and just start. That was some uh, rusty, rusty. Okay, so there's the door in the latched position mm -hmm. from inside. Returns and latches again from outside. Latches. Opens from the side. Look at that. Fantastic. Latches. It's all good to go. Let's try and get the dent out of this Nash door. Let's see approximately. Pretty much the whole side of the door there. So we see the sharp spot there and there. I don't know what's happened here. Thought it might be a tree, but trees don't usually do that. Something sharp. I'm not going to try and get that. Just want to push this area generally out. So we'll see how that goes. Time budget for this repair is about two minutes. So that's what it's getting. Good enough, nearly good enough right there. All right, well, there we have a much better door than what's here. Let's see. Pretty sure I checked it, they were the same length. Better double check. Is that even the same color? No, 
it's not quite the same color as it now colorblind guy getting a little optimistic there uh, anyway next we will be having to swap all of the glass oh this has a damage sticker I wish we could read the date I'd be curious to know when this thing was finally rolled off for the final time yeah sadly our parts car the glass was all knocked out of it but that uh, and a good front door might get us going here yeah it's the right length it's the right door good uh, so anyway hope you guys like this old Nash like I do it's obviously uh, pretty uh, pretty kind of a long shot to ever go back on the road but pretty cool car nevertheless hey guys thanks so much for checking it out I just wanted to let everybody know uh, and say thanks to everybody who ordered a calendar for 2025 Cold War Motors calendar just back from the printer and shipping starts this weekend. So uh, thank you guys again. I'm very happy with how they turned out. Hope you're looking forward to another year with the fine calendar on your wall. And we'll see everybody on Saturday for more of the regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. <laughs>